Hi, my name is Sanjay Kumari, uh, assistant professor from the department of ECE, Siddhartha Institute of Science and Technology. So today we are going to uh, study about this uh, topics like signals, systems, and what are the classification of systems. So signals, so signals are variables that carry information. So the signals are represented with the basic parameters like amplitude, frequency, phase, and with respect to time. So it is defined as a set of one or more independent variables. So it can represent as a physical quantity with respect to time, amplitude, frequency, and phase. So where it varies with some independent or uh, dependent variables. So signals can be defined as one-dimensional or multi-dimensional. So under the signal, so you can say temperature, blood pressure, or the basic examples of a signal. So when it comes to real-time uh, applications. Uh, next is one-dimensional signal. If a function depends on a single variable, so you can say it as a one-dimensional signal. And if a function depends upon uh, two or more variables, you can say it as multi-dimensional signals. So under one-dimensional signal, we can say a speech signal. Under multi-dimensional signals, we can say image as a multi-dimensional signal. Next, elementary signals. So elementary signals are defined as basic signals or standard signals. So to analyze any real-time signals, so we need to get some basic idea on this standard signals and their ranges. So the basic signals or the elementary signals or unit step function signals, unit ramp signal or unit ramp function, unit parabolic function, unit impulse function, sinusoidal function, uh, exponential function, under exponential, we can say real exponential function and also complex exponential function. Next, what is a system? A system process input signals to produce output signals. So a system may be uh, a device which can process your signals and produces the desired output. So the system can be defined as a hardware or also an algorithm that is going to process your signals. So example is CD player, which takes the signals on the CD and transforms it into a signal sent to the loudspeaker. And for any uh, system, the basic communication system requires a transmitter, a receiver, and a channel. A channel which alternates and adds noise to the transmitter signal and which is processed by the receiver. So how is system represented? So this is a basic block diagram of a system, so which takes the input signal as x of t and transmits the output as y of t. So in a very broad sense, a system can be represented as a ratio of output signal over the input signal. And the classification of systems. So there are some classification of systems. So we all know that the uh, signals are classified into continuous time signals and discrete time signals. Similarly, the systems are classified as uh, continuous time systems and discrete time systems. So these classification of systems uh, will be applicable for both continuous time systems and discrete time systems. So first one is linear and time linear systems, time variant and time invariant systems, static and dynamic systems, causal and non-causal systems, stable and unstable systems. So and also some other systems are there like invertible or non-invertible systems, FIR and IR systems. So here is the most widely useful classification of systems. First one, linear and non-linear systems. A system is said to be linear when it satisfies superposition principle and homogeneity principle. So if we consider two systems with inputs x1 of t and x2 of t and outputs y1 of t and y2 of t. So then according to the superposition and homogeneity principle, t of a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t equals to a1 y1 of t plus a2 y2 of t, where t represents the transformation of our signals. 
Next one, if you see the example y of t equals to x square of t, so y of y1 of t equals to t of x1 of t equals to x1 square of t, y2 of t equals to x2 square of t. So these are their outputs. So inputs are x1 of t and x2 of t. So if you apply the superposition principle and the homogeneity principle to this, so finally you can get t of a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t equals to a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t whole square. So where if you compare the last third and fourth equations, equations, so the system is said to be nonlinear. Next one, time variant and time invariant systems. So a system is said to be time variant if the inputs and output characteristics are varied with respect to time. And if the system is considered as time invariant if it's uh, exactly opposite to the time variant system. So the condition of time variant invariant system is if y n comma t equals to y of n minus t, where y of n comma t represents the output delayed due to the input by t seconds. And y of n minus t represents the output delayed by t seconds. If these two parameters are equal means then you can say time invariant or else you can say time variant systems. So this is an example for uh, y for time variant system where you can apply this y of n comma t equals to x of minus n minus t and y of n minus t equals to x of minus n plus t. So where those two parameters are not equal, then you can say it as time variant system. Next, static and dynamic systems. A static system is a memoryless system and a dynamic system is a memory basic system. So here y of t equals to t of x of t. So to substitute t value as 0, then the system output is y of 0 equals to 2 of x of 0, where you can say the same input, so same value you got. So if t equals to 0, the output and inputs are values are same. So y of 0 and x of 0. So it depends on the present input. So that's why you can say the system is static. Next, dynamic system. So it depends upon past and future inputs. And y of t equals to t of x of t plus 3 into x of t minus 3. If you substitute t value as 0, y of 0 equals to 2 of 2 into x of 0 plus 3 into x of minus 3. So where here we got minus 3 value, which is a past value of 0. So you can say the system is a dynamic system. Next, causal and non-causal systems. Causal system is a system which depends on present and past inputs and doesn't depend on future inputs. So here is the example y of t equals to 2 into x of t plus 3 into x of t minus 3. So for present value of t equals to 1, so in the given system we got y of 1 x of 1 x of minus 2. So minus 2 is the past value of 1. So you can say it as a causal system. And non-causal system is output depends upon future inputs. So here is the example y of t equals to 2 into x of t plus 3 into x of t minus 3 plus 6 into x of t plus 3. If you substitute the value of 1, so the output will be so y of 1, x of 1, x of minus 2, x of 4. So here you can see the present minus 2 as past and 4 as future. The system is a non-causal system. Next, stable and unstable systems. The system is said to be stable when the output is bounded for bounded input. And the system is said to be unstable if the output is unbounded for a bounded input. So for a stable system, for a bounded signal, the amplitude is finite. But for an unstable system, it is infinite. And these are the references that we have followed for the following topic. And so we have these references. Thank you.